I might have to do another video where I buy this. We might just circle back to this for a video. I think we kind of have to. We will learn womanese on another stream, I promise. Guys, have you watched the second channel? Have you kept up? Do you know where we're at right now? Do you know what's happening tonight? We're learning the lost language of womanese. For those of you keeping up, in the last video, we watched a man from TikTok called Masculine Empowerment give us the lowdown on women, relationships, and how you should treat them. They weren't, I would say, the best takes. I don't like the fact that you don't let me get away with my bullshit and you see right through it. Women love to pretend that bad boy- It seemed like he had like some history problems in a relationship that needed to be addressed personally, but he kind of just made a TikTok page and used all that information that he had and just put it out there as if it's everyone's relationship. He seemed a little personal. He's pretty upset, but he has an ebook called The Lost Language of Womanese. And today we're gonna review it. I've looked at a few pages and it's just as personal as the TikToks, if not even more so. <laughs> It's basically a dictionary of when a woman says X, what she really means is Y. And he kind of breaks it down. So that's what we're going through. It's a 98 page ebook, but it's very short in terms of what's actually on the pages. So it shouldn't take us that long. But it's gonna be very fun. And yes, this is basically the new Bible. I don't know what you heard about me. That's right, baby. This is how we're gonna be feeling once we learn the language, baby. Gonna be in the club, spitting some womanese. All right, that was stupid. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, we could do a few things here. I think it might be fun if I pulled you on a translation to see if you guys agree with it or not before we see his explanation. Would you like to do that or not? We don't have to. Hold on, maybe I'll show you one first and then we'll make up our minds on doing that, okay? Yeah, someone just said, I think all of them will be no. <laughs> After the one I've seen, I really do think they might all be no. So let's, we'll see one first and then we'll decide. The lost language of the female female species. Learn womanese. Let's read the opening, huh? Have you ever wondered how women are always lying? <laughs> it's right out the, the fucking gate. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Have you ever wondered how women are always lying and cheating, but never seem to get caught? Ever been dumped out of the blue without warning? Have you ever been completely blindsided by the shocking discovery of your wife or girlfriend's cheating? Of course you have. We all have. Most men these days are completely clueless about how women communicate. As men, we tend to communicate overtly, meaning we say what we mean and we mean what we say. Women, on the other hand. So far, is he soul reading you guys? He proved our point from the video. He actually did, because he's, he's admitting it to it right now, that he has been blindsided by his wife or girlfriend cheating, which is entirely how he comes off in his TikToks. Women, on the other hand. Women communicate covertly, which means what they say and what they mean are often two very different things. Therein lies the problem. It's much more difficult to understand covert communication. And because women communicate covertly, it is often challenging, if not impossible, to read between the lines and decipher what they're really telling us. And women know this. Worse yet, they know we don't know. Because of this, it is very easy for them to lie, to deceive, mislead, and manipulate us. So now the question is, how do we crack the code? How, do, how can we learn to decipher what women are really telling us so we can act accordingly? As someone who has gotten pretty fluent in womanese, I will teach you how to interpret the statements women make. Not only will being fluent in womanese make you much a make wait, not only will being fluent in womanese make you a much one more time. I'm not fluent in English. I'm trying to get fluent in womanese, but I'm not fluent in English. Not only will being fluent in womanese make you much better with women, it will drastically reduce the odds of being taken advantage of. Everything from what they say in relationships, how they tell us they aren't interested in a sexual relationship, to how they tell us they're on cheating us. Tell us they're on cheat. Is it me? Am I the issue here? No, I think it's the words, right? To how they tell us they're on cheating us. It's on me talking bad, okay? I will translate the most common phrases that women use to mislead and deceive men. Like any man, I've experienced heartbreaks and frustrations with women. Women. But what these experiences taught me was that you can never take what a woman says at face value. Remember, women communicate covertly, so what they say is almost never exactly what they mean. You've kind of said this already. Womanese will give you the ability to translate what women are really saying with accuracy. This seems like we're repeating ourselves. Plus, having the skill has utility outside of dating and relationships. This helps you at work, on social media, and even with family and friends. The possibilities are endless. Because it doesn't matter who the woman is, they're all liars. Don't forget it. Write that down. Write that down. From young hot girls to divorcees to MILFs, that's moms I like to F, and even cougars, you will always know what women of all ages, all races, and all socioeconomic backgrounds are really telling you when they're speaking to you. So pay attention, take notes, and enjoy the ride. You're about to separate yourself 
from 97% of men. Wow, what an intro. Oh my God, I mean, he kind of rambled and repeated himself a few times. There was a few spelling mistakes, not me just not being able to talk, but I'm hooked, I'm freaking hooked. Oh yeah, they use these like terrible clip art things. Every woman's social conscience has two departments. One department knows the unfiltered truth. Charlotte, the bad girl, will represent this department. Everyone say hi to Charlotte. Howdy. She represents what they're actually thinking. I love how the caricature of what they actually think is exactly what you think. It's just a fucking devil. <laughs> the other department figures out a way to spin that truth in such a way that absolves her of any wrongdoing, sidesteps accountability, makes her the victim, and puts her in the best possible light. This department will be represented by Daisy, the good girl. What's up, Daisy? So Daisy is our lying piece of crap woman. Throughout this book, the girls of Womanese and I will educate you on cracking the female communication code. The girls will portray Daisy, who will tell you what women want you to think, and they will play Charlotte, who will tell you the raw truth. Then I will summarize and explain the context. This is how you will become fluent in Womanese. Saving Face, Chapter 1. We'll do the first one. If it's so obviously bad, we're not going to do polls. It'll take too long. If it's okay, we'll do polls. I don't think we're going to have to do polls, though. Women do not like looking bad in any situation. In fact, they avoid it at all costs. They do this with misleading phrases, convoluting the truth, or just flat out lying. This section will focus on the things women say to make sure they come out smelling like roses in any and all situations. Oh, man. <laughs> it's so generalizing already. It's crazy. <laughs> It's just, this is made with such vitriol. Here we go. Our first translation, everybody, in womanese. When she says, don't judge me, the translation, don't hold me accountable for my bad decisions. She's really saying, I make bad decisions, don't hold me accountable for them. I mean, it's general. It's, it's very generalizing. I mean, <laughs> I'm not sure. Don't judge me. Do people even say don't judge me, like, without saying it in, like, kind of, like, sarcastic, like, don't judge me, you know? Without a poll. Is this a W or an L? L. Big an L? Okay, don't judge me. Don't hold me accountable for my bad decisions. Well, hold on, let's see his justification, guys. You barely heard him out. Why does she say this? Women make impulsive decisions all the time, but they don't want to accept responsibility for their actions, so they use the don't judge me phrase to preemptively avoid being held responsible for their actions. Okay, now, you're kind of using, like, opinion to justify opinion. <laughs> he gave the translation, and then he's like, why is this the case? Well, it's because I think all women are impulsive creatures and don't want to accept responsibility. That's why it's true. It's true because I think that. <laughs> yeah, I think probably still an L take on this one. And you're not really saying anything new. You know, this is really like I, this is woman. He's, I mean, this is chapter one. I guess I guess we're going to get to like the real stuff soon. Oh, this is one I saw. <laughs> Don't have to fucking read it. Isn't it the funniest shit you've ever heard? <laughs> when she says he cheated on me, what she really means is I cheated on him. This one doesn't even make any sense. <laughs> what does that mean? Oh, no, 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 I get it now, I get it now. Okay, so this is if you have a wife and they're talking about an old relationship. That's what it is. It took me a second. So she's talking about, you have a wife or girlfriend, they're talking about an old relationship they had and she's saying why they broke up, he cheated on me. What that really means is she's lying <laughs> and she cheated on him. I understand it now. Oh, W, this is one's a W now, guys? <laughs> Let's see his reasoning. This is a go-to lie women tell their friends and family to cover up their own cheating. The reason they use this lie so much is one, they know it can't be proven, and two, she knows her friends and family will take her side. Yeah, I mean, if you're a compulsive liar and you just want to make yourself look like a good person, I guess, yeah, you can just make up that lie. I wouldn't say maybe even more than 2% of women probably do this, but maybe. When she says, he cheated on me, so I dumped him. Translation, I cheated first, so he cheated on me. Okay, so this is just like a subsection to the last one. <laughs> if she already lied about her saying that he cheated on me, we're just adding another sentence to it. Okay, this seems like a waste of a, of a page, but okay. This is a classic example of a woman leaving out the part where she fucked up. They do this all the time. <laughs> it is never this simple, and there's always more to the story. Yeah, there's always more to the story, like any of these situations that you claim to be immediately true, kind of like that. Is it kind of like that? There's more to the story? This is my problem with the TikToks. It's just so specific to the things you've had in your life. When she says we... Dude, 
Is it always that she cheated? Is it just anything she says means she cheated? When she says we grew apart, it means I cheated. It's just so opposite. There's no proof. There's nothing. It's just, you just said it. Everything is cheating. It's unfalsifiable, right? A woman will never say I cheated. She'll sugarcoat it with something nebulous like we grew apart as if to imply that it magically forced her on another man's dick. <laughs> When did he write this? In the dead of night, was he just drunk as shit? He's just like, I fucking hate Becky. I'm gonna write an entire ebook about this bitch. And how's this book, 98 pages? I assume 90 more pages of how a girl means I cheated when she says anything else. <laughs> we grew apart as if to imply that it magically forced her on another man's dick. Okay. When she said, <laughs> guys, I'm sorry if this is the rest of the book. I'm so sorry. <laughs> when she says, I fell out of love with him, what she means is, I started fucking another guy. A woman never falls out of love with a man if she hasn't fallen in love with another man first. Interesting. This line is a dead giveaway that she was fucking around before she fell out of love. I strongly disagree. You can fall out of love so easily without there being another man involved. I don't know, maybe you had a boyfriend and they, they start they start saying, honey, I'm writing this book called Womanese. At that point, the, the gears might start turning, hmm. I'm not sure I want to be in this relationship. When she says we ended things mutually, what she means to say is he dumped me. Okay, seems more just like a, a saving face lie. Imagine getting into an argument with your <laughs> with your girlfriend and pulling out your woman translating dictionary. This would be so funny. Mid argument, pull out the womanese book. Honey, did you just say you grew apart with your ex? Okay, so you fucked ten guys. You fucked ten pe ten, ten other guys. When she says, I'm doing this for me, what she means to say is, I'm doing this for attention from guys. I mean, she can't even have her own, her own hobbies either, I guess. <laughs> this guy's perfect girlfriend just can't move. Just be still. Just never move, never talk. Don't say anything that could put you at risk or we will break up. Every decision, I love the matter of factness he uses, is always just so succinct. Every decision a woman makes is for the sole purpose of attracting more men, losing weight, Changing their hair, anything and everything they do is to increase their opportunities for dick. You heard it here first. Wow. That's one way to see the world. Everything is for more dick. It's all for more dick. When she says, I'm in an open relationship, what she means is, I cheat, he doesn't. I mean, that just doesn't even make sense. If you're in an open relationship, it's not cheating. That's the whole, that's why it's called an open relationship. So are you in an open relationship or are you not? Women cheat all the time as a matter of habit. Telling you she's in an open relationship is her admitting to you that she's unfaithful without actually calling it cheating. Oh, I see. Okay, this is like a new girl you meet at a bar. She says open relationships. She, she's just lying. <laughs> no girl that tells you she's in an open relationship is actually in an open relationship. When she says, I don't do this normally, what she means to say is, I do this all the time. I just don't want you to think I'm a slut. It's got to be a hard walk through life. This, this bitter at women all the time. Jesus. This is another example of women putting up her slut shield. That sounds like a cool fucking Marvel Capcom special move. The, the old slut shield. They want to engage in slutty behavior without being labeled a slut. And this is a go-to phrase they use when they're about to fuck a guy they really like. This book needs a censor warning. This is getting a little out of hand. Remember, gentlemen, you're not special. She just wants you to think you are. I mean, this could be true. Like, I don't know. Like, this could be true of some girl you've met. I don't think it's all of them. Every time I see a curse word in there, I imagine him tearing up and shouting at the audience. <laughs> As we're getting further into the book, I like how the curse words per page are going up. Like he's just like riling himself up more as he keeps writing. It starts getting really personal and like he's like starts putting like her name in there too. Like when Sarah says that she wants to go out for drinks, what she's really saying is she's gonna fuck every guy in town. When she says, I'm not like most girls. In translation, I am like most girls, but I want you to think I'm not. Kind of in similar vein to the last one. She is like most girls, and in his point of view, all girls fuck around and lie and cheat. Every girl says this to a guy at some point. Every girl does this shit, boys. Every fucking girl says this shit, I swear to God. I've never not met a girl that says that. And I'm getting sick of it. Every girl says this to a guy at some point. This is what we call snowflaking. Whoa, a dictionary term in the dictionary term? The fuck? The thing is, women know they're not special. <laughs> they just want you to think they are. What? All women are not the same, but all women are like that? What is this page? What does that mean? Am I going blind? I don't know what this means. The thing is, women know they're not special. They just want you to 
think they are. All women are not the same, but isn't everything in this book telling us they are? <laughs> all women are not the same, but all women are like that. That's, that's a hell of a sentence. Okay, wow, hey, chapter one. If chapter one was anything to go by, chapter two, does she want to fuck or not? I'm sure it has to be yes, just not you. I'm sure that has to be what the theme is. If she wants to fuck everyone in town. We get a little, we get a little opening to this one too. Believe it or not, women love, enjoy, and want sex just as much, if not more than we do. I learned that in chapter one. I've learned this already. Most men are unaware of this because women do much better job at hiding their sexual desires. You know what? Fact, I'm with him. The reason they hide these urges is simple. They do not want to be labeled a slut. No woman does. With this in mind, their daisy department makes sure nobody finds out that she's Charlotte on the inside. Right into it. Okay, when she says, he's a nice guy, what she really means is, I do not want to fuck him. <laughs> maybe true. I mean, maybe, maybe sometimes. If she says it like this. Oh yeah, uh, Gunner, yeah, yeah. He's a nice guy. Then sure. But I mean, if she's just saying he's a nice guy, I don't know. It depends on context. This is what women say about men. They don't want to fuck without hurting his feelings. Remember, women are never straight up about anything. <laughs> Least of all their sexual preferences. The nice guy statement is glorified sugarcoating. I don't think this is like a just woman line. I think this is like the same thing for guys. It just happens less often. That if you're a guy and you're not into a girl that's into you, you just say like, oh, you're so nice. Like, I think you're very sweet, whatever. I think the reasoning for that for most people is they think it's like a soft letdown while giving them a compliment. I'm sure most people prefer just to hear I'm not interested, but that's not what people do. I don't think it's because they're lying pieces of shit. I think they're actually trying to be nice and maybe a little scared to say what they mean. But for him, it's because women are never straight up about anything. This one's not not true, but this reasoning is also just, I hate women again, as, as per usual. When she says, I just love the energy around him, translation, I totally want to fuck him. <laughs> I don't know, is this a phrase? I just love the energy around him. I can see this being said about the nice guy too. Oh yeah, you're a nice guy and you got good energy. Why does she say this? Women never just come right out and say, I wanna fuck him. That makes her look like a slut. So they find something obscure about a guy and play it up as an excuse to be around him. So when her friends ask, why is Lauren around Chad so much? They can say with, oh yeah, she loves his energy. I like how we're getting to what I said earlier where he's, he's name dropping now name is literally chad so like yeah <laughs> i think that was a given that she wants to fuck him yeah this one it depends if a girl's friend group if she does it, she's not that open with them maybe she doesn't want to tell them they find something obscure about a guy and play it up as an excuse so now the translations are when she's talking to her friends is that what's going on here and i've seen women just come out and say i want to fuck him women do say i want to fuck him <laughs> When she says he's husband material, what she means to say is I'm not attracted to him. That's just false. Isn't you saying he's husband material exactly I want to fuck him? Isn't that just what that means? Like he's your husband. It means you're a good a good guy that they could see themselves being with for the rest of them, the rest of their lives. Why would they not want to fuck you? <laughs> when a woman isn't sexually interested in a man but sees that he can provide her a good life after she's had her fill of random dick, she'll call a man husband material and she'll make sure he hears about it. This keeps him in her orbit until she's finished with her hoe face. <laughs> That's so specific, dude. What? <laughs> this had to have happened to him, no? This is too specific. So he had a girl, I presume, that kept saying he was husband material, but kept fucking everyone else in town. I'm not gonna like say this is him 100%, but this is a really specific thing to say. <laughs> I've never heard of this situation in my life. When she says he's a good guy, but translation, I'm not turned on by him. I'm not, I'm not turned on him. Come on, man, you're writing eight words on a page. Can you write the sentences correctly? <laughs> Uh, this one's just, he's a good guy, doesn't mean I'm turned on by him. That's what we just saw before. We are repeating pages. This falls under the same category as a nice guy's phrase. Same circumstance, same tactic. Okay, so it's the same definition. Why did you write it twice? <laughs> when she says he's a cocky, arrogant asshole, what she means to say is I'm definitely attracted to him. This is what we saw in the TikToks too. Just be awful. You gotta be a cocky, arrogant asshole. We know this. Women love to pretend that douchebag characteristics like arrogance is a huge turnoff. Their biology can't help but be aroused by men who act like they're God's gift to women. Simply pointing out these characteristics means she's already imagined fucking him. It makes me so sad to see people make the wrong conclusion from the same evidence, right? The cocky, arrogant guy is usually getting the chick because he's confident in himself. He doesn't have to be a piece of shit, but the way he sees it is that they're just being absolute pieces of shit and that turns women on. And now he's gonna go into life being an asshole. <laughs> he's gonna pretend to be God's gift to women. I don't pretend, I am God's gift to women. When she says, I hate you, what she means to say is I love you and I wanna fuck you. <laughs> 
Everything's the opposite. I get women to tell me they hate me all the time. Really, the whole town wants to fuck me. There's a thin line between love and hate as, as the saying goes, and it's 100% true. A woman cannot hate you if she does not love you. So when a woman says this to you or another man, it's an open invitation to butt fuck her and blow your load at her face, which is exactly what she wants. What the fuck? Oh my God. <laughs> This book goes crazy directions out of nowhere. <laughs> Whoa, man, calm the fuck down. You don't even have to ask for permission. She says she hates you, just take her right there. This guy's got some demons. Can we see him? Oh yeah, I guess we're new people. I haven't seen him. I'll, I'll go over to him real fast. This is Connor. Never try to attract a woman by appealing to logic. We pretend we have this veneer of being incredibly logical, intelligent, and rational creatures. Oh, okay, same for both. Not. We're completely driven by emotion particularly women in a dating okay. scenario. So, bear that in mind, <laughs> don't appeal to her logically, appeal to her emotionally. I love how he almost saved these. Like, actually, like, all humans do this. I'm like, oh yeah, cool. He's like, but, but specifically women. <laughs> he says the same stuff that's in the book. I think the book is just phrased so much better. What were the comments? Keep your hands still, don't tell me what to do. <laughs> don't tell me what to do. I love that. If he's talking like this in person, oh, he is screwed. Back to the womanese book, guys, come on. When she says, I don't want to ruin our friendship, what she means to say is, I do not want to fuck you. True. Yo, W's in chat, he hit one. I don't think we're arguing this one, right? We're, we're good? <laughs> this is also what he said in that TikTok, though. He said if they call you, if she calls you her gay best friend. Here are three signs to look out for. Okay, three calling signs. You a friend. Calling you a gay best friend. No shit. <laughs> so either he gives terrible advice, or he gives the most obvious advice ever. Wait for the explanation? True. He could actually use the exact wrong explanation, even though we're all on the same page right now. This is another sugarcoating tactic. It also means you're in the dreaded friend zone, and once you're there, you're not getting out. Oh, that's a W right there. He hit it. He got the reasoning right, too. I'm surprised. I mean, really no shit, but yeah, I mean, he did it. When she says, I love you to death, what she means to say is I'm not sexually attracted to you at all. Maybe, maybe. If she's saying it in a way that seems like you're her gay best friend, which I know is how he's thinking, then yes. I mean, she might just fucking love you to death. This is what women say to all of the betas in their orbit and they know they'll never sleep with. If a woman ever says this to you, you're never going to fuck her. <laughs> this is the first time he's used beta in the book so far. Nice to know that's how he's viewing the world too. When she says, you're like a brother to me, she means to say, I will never fuck you. Why does she say this? This is friend zone talk, guys. Girls don't fuck their brothers, guys. <laughs> This statement is a death sentence to your sexual conquest. Guys, newsflash, girls don't fuck their brothers. Oh my God, dude, the way he says sexual conquest too? Oh man. Chapter two, done. Uh, what do you think? Chapter two, W, L, I think I was mostly L again, but hey, we had one W page. Still absolutely an L, but uh, it, was, it was a little bit better. All right, what is branch swinging? I, I, mean, I haven't heard of this. When it comes to breakups, women rarely just tell you, I wanna break up. Most of the time, they'll use language that implies they want to break up without actually saying it. Okay, interesting. Now, there are two very simple reasons for this. One, women don't like uncomfortable conversations and confrontation. Don't think that's just a woman thing. Now, to be fair, okay, oh, whoa, he did say, he clarified. I should have read ahead, my bad. But women go out of their way to avoid being straight up with people. He keeps doing this. <laughs> Men and women both do this. But women go out of their way specifically. This phenomenon is more commonly known as sugarcoating. They don't want you to know there's someone else. Girls rarely leave the relationships they're in if they haven't started another one. This is called branch swinging. The next section will reveal the things women say when they've completed the process of branch swinging and are ready to move on to their next victim. Damn. This has to be directly from his life experience, right? He's talking about ways you can tell if a woman's cheating on you and she's saying things that imply she's cheating on you. So that must mean he's caught his partner cheating on him before, and these are things he's like going back in time and calling out. In this scenario, do you ever want a partner? Do you ever want a long-term relationship? This is just the how to fuck and never be with anybody ever, because like, why would you want to be with somebody? They're gonna leave you eventually. When she says, we need to take a break, what she really means to say is, I'm fucking another guy. Sure. Maybe. Most oftentimes, probably not. I think when you need to take a break, it already kind of means there's some rocky issues and you're probably not going to make it long term. Eh, it seems to be how it goes. But sometimes it could just be some personal shit going on and you need a little break. It's fine. Remember, a woman will never tell you she's going to start fucking another guy. Obviously. Hey, babe, I was thinking about, uh, you know, like we have a monogamous relationship. We've been together for five years. I was thinking about um, fucking another guy. Is that cool? Oh, sorry, I meant take a break, my bad. She doesn't want to look like a slut, so she uses these phrases to characterize slutty behavior as some sort of soul-searching journey that'll make her a better person. Wow, <laughs> that's vindictive. 
When she says, I have to follow my heart, what she means to say is, I have to follow my impulse to sleep around. Because women, biologically, just want to fuck everybody. That's not me. It's crazy. A woman will never, every single explanation is a woman will never tell the truth. So, to circumvent having to be honest and having a difficult conversation, which, by the way, means admitting she's cheating, she'll use any combination of these statements to avoid looking like a cheating slut. <laughs> if she says any of these things to you, she's been fucking another dude for six months and knows, <laughs> and now knows she can start a relationship with him count on it oh specific specific we're putting together the storyline baby for six months you didn't know <laughs> i'm supposed to take advice from you on the science you couldn't tell she is fucking another dude for six months so we're putting together a storyline okay lauren which is the girl he dropped is fucking chad which is the other guy's name he dropped and looks like they've been doing it for six months when they were together it's a quick chapter from the first date to breakup. From first date to breakup, <laughs> women make statements throughout the course of a relationship. They talk about what they want, who they want, what they will do, what they what they will do, what they will do, what they won't do, and everything in between. <laughs> They'll yap on about their feelings, their fears, their pet peeves, and their preferences. You name it they talk about it. Now we all know that one of the most common complaints women have about men is that we never listen. You want to know something? They're not wrong. Most men tune women out as a matter of habit and for good reason. <laughs> and there's a huge downside. Wait, he's not going to justify the reason? <laughs> I thought the next sentence he was at least going to try. <laughs> but there's a huge downside to this, which is missing the obvious signals that a real relationship could be in jeopardy. You know what, man? I'm going to guess one of those signals is that you're not fucking listening. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna take a wild guess that that's one of the signals is you're not listening and she's trying to tell you that and you're not hearing the signal. For example, while you might think your girlfriend hates her ex because she always talks about, did I read that wrong or hold on. For example, while you might think your girlfriend hates her ex because she always talks about she hates him, she secretly wishes she were with him. Maybe English isn't his first language, so I'm not gonna be crazy about this, but this is, this is getting harder to read. And oftentimes they pursue the ex, sometimes successfully, and you would be none the wiser. Countless men have been blindsided by the shock and discovery of their wives and girlfriends' infidelity, including him. The lives of many men have been destroyed by the actions of cheating women. STDs and divorce are just the tip of the iceberg, but if a man knows what to listen for when his significant other is waxing poetic about her emotional state, he can pick up on the subtle signals that she is on her way out. The vast majority of female dishonesty happens before, during, and after relationships. Before, during, and after, so all the time. True. <laughs> when she says, you're disrespecting me, what she means to say is, you're not treating me like a princess. Today's women characterize any behavior that doesn't put them on a pedestal and is tolerant of bad behavior as disrespectful. Ignore these ac accusations and stand your ground. I think the, the relationship problems you're having are starting to be exposed through these definitions by you saying that when she's pointing out issues to you, you stand your ground and double down on them. When she says, oh, here's a big one. You're a misogynist, whatever that means. What she means to say is you're supposed to worship me, but you're not. Seems like an entirely different sentiment, but okay. I mean, I assume you said something I don't know, along the lines of this book that generalizes all women when she says you're a misogynist, I assume that was what happened before she said that. But maybe, uh, in your mind, it's because you weren't worshipping her. I don't know. These seem very far-fetched. Any man who makes unflattering statements about women and holds them accountable for their bad decisions is looked at as a woman hater. This is a tactic women use to silence men who tell the truth about women. Oh, we're getting a little Andrew Tatey out here, aren't we? When she says, you're insecure, controlling, and possessive. Oh, shit. She means to say, I need you to give me space so I can cheat on you. Classic. Oh, man. All I'm thinking of right now is that he's doing these things, right? Can you imagine any guy who's like, is this behavior getting this advice? Who is insecure, controlling, and possessive of his girlfriend? And he's like, oh, no, 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 no. Don't listen to that horse shit. Actually, ignore her. What she's trying to say is she's going to go cheat on you, so you need to double down on that controllingness. Make sure she can't leave the house. Strap her down. Don't let her leave. And also ignore those insults, because they're not real. Why does she say this? If a woman says this to you, it means that your value isn't high enough to justify adhering to your standards. Wait, I'm lost. What? If your value is high enough, a woman will comply with whatever demands you place on her. I think this, this last sentence here seems to justify her calling you controlling and possessive. Maybe. <laughs> 
They're gonna call you weird things like controlling and possessive. Ignore it so that you can be controlling and possessive. When she says that's a red flag, what she means to say is that's a turn on. This is the worst fucking advice I've ever heard. It's just so bad. It's so bad, man. You're giving them the wrong shit. <laughs> Even if he was trying to do like the Andrew Tate thing to make guys confident in a douchebag, arrogant kind of way, he's not even doing it right because this isn't helpful advice and it's not true. <laughs> if it gets the attention of law enforcement. Whoa, what, hold, what the fuck, hold on. I read one sentence, if it gets the attention of law enforcement. Okay, hold the, hold the fuck, I need to, hold on. Okay, if it gets the attention of law enforcement, it gets the attention of young, hot girls. Red flags are turn-ons for women and that's all there is to it. If a girl says XYZ is a red flag, it means she's turned on by him. The woman was too stunned to speak. What the fuck? Guys, did this book just get like illegal? What behavior would get attention from law enforcement that you're prescribing? I can't think of even what behavior he's recommending. Screen cap this, send this to the FBI. I'm scared. And yeah, it gets the attention of young hot girls. Just kind of expose yourself right there, my brother. He's saying bad boy behavior like street racing, maybe fighting typical movie bad boy things. I think you're probably right. I think if we're going to be generous, you probably are right that he means fighting. I think he's thinking fighting other guys like at bars, which again, also not good advice. <laughs> <laughs> Any girl that sees a guy fight, they instantly turned off most of the time. It's not attractive. When she says, we'll see or maybe, what she means to say is no. When it comes to meeting up, a rule of thumb is that if the answer is anything but yes, the answer is always no. If a girl wants to meet up with you, she will. She won't put conditions on it. She won't tell you about other plans. She'll simply say yes and leave your instructions. This, not bad. This isn't terrible. I'll give her a, a break the first time if, you know, if she's got some shit going on. But not a terrible take. For creepy guys, this is good advice because they need to know this. If she's dodging you, she wants you probably to stop asking. When she says it just happened... What she means to say is, I've wanted to fuck him for a while, and I did. I've been scouting out Chad for six months, and you had no idea. She's had her eye on that dude for a while, man. She made sure she made herself available to him so that he would make the first move and fuck her. Nothing ever just happens when it comes to women and sex. When a girl fucks a guy, she's been thinking about it for a while and eventually facilitates the cheating. We're back to cheating, let's go. It was the first date to breaking up again, so we knew it was gonna end in cheating. It always does. When she says, I was gonna tell you, translation, I was never gonna tell you. It's the opposite, never trust anything. Women never intend to tell you about their infidelity, never. They only say they were going to after you find out about it in an attempt to save face. That's chapter one, saving face. Remember back, guys, get your notes from chapter one. If you expect a woman to tell you she cheated, it'll be a long wait. Do not fall for her retroactive honestly. She was never going to tell you. And honesty, but okay. I'm okay with this one. If you found out someone cheated, they probably weren't gonna tell you. Yeah, you were after the fact that they cheated, sure. When she says, I wanna get married someday, what she means to say is, I do want to get married after I fucked a hundred guys. Gotta get those numbers up first. Then we can get married. Every woman wants to get married. Not even true. <laughs> it's a symbol of her inherent value as a woman. Also not true. A man shows her to spend the rest of his life with and to start a family with. But in today's, but in today's, women aren't interested in marriage when their value is at its peak. But then wonder why high value men don't want to wipe them up in their mid to late thirties. It's kind of seem like you're rambling about different things here, but all right. When she says, I saw my ex the other day. Translation, I've been fucking my ex behind your back. This is a tactic women like to use to make you think you can trust them. She didn't have to tell you anything, but she did anyway. I can trust her now. Nonsense. All she's doing is letting you know her ex is back in her life and likely has been there for a while. I saw my ex the other day. Doesn't mean she didn't see him the day before or the day before that. So even when she tells you the truth, still thinks she's lying. <laughs> when she says, my ex is such an asshole, what she means to say is, I'm still in love with my ex. If you guys remember from chapter one, she calls you a cocky asshole. That means she loves you. Hold on, don't freak out, guys. I'm quoting him. A woman who talks shit about her ex is not over her ex. Remember, the more she tries to convince you of something, the less likely it's true. A woman who calls her ex an ass wants her ex in her ass. Bars. Bars. <laughs> Shit. Never forget that. Whoa. <laughs>
<laughs> I mean, it's the same vein we keep talking about. Nothing is ever true. What do you want her to do? What do you want her to do? You want her to talk him up a lot? Like, what do you want? If she can't talk shit about him, what do you want? Because if she talks him up, you're gonna be like, she's clearly cheating on him right now. If she talks him down, she's also clearly cheating on her with him. Jesus, I'm flustered. A woman who calls her ex an ass wants her ex in her ass. Put that on my fucking gravestone now. When she says, you treat me so well, she means to say, you're boring me, so I'm going to cheat soon. Classic. Classic. Women love reinforcing behaviors they want you to repeat so that they can continue looking for your replacement. Yes, you may treat her well, but that's boring to her. And if a woman's bored, she's gonna cheat. Remember, treat her like shit. And she won't leave you, I guess, is the theory. <laughs> when she says, so where is this heading? What she means to say is, I want to be a girlfriend. Oh my God, wow. After so much vulgarity, we finally got into like a, a nice cute one. <laughs> this is the first definition that's like kind of sweet. The next page is going to be something like, you don't want that. Get the fuck out of there. Oh my God. Feminism has misled women into thinking that expressing interest in a man is unattractive. On this false assumption, they'll ask where this is heading as an indirect way to strike up a conversation about an actual relationship. If a woman didn't want to be your girlfriend, they wouldn't care where things were heading, so they'd never ask. Well, that wasn't the sweetest version of that take, but all right. <laughs> When she says, I don't have sex unless I'm in a relationship, what she means to say is, I don't want to fuck you. Maybe true. Or maybe she wants to wait for a while and make sure that you're boyfriend material before she has sex. Why does she say this, though? Well, girls fuck guys they're not in relationships with all the time. What women are doing here when they make this statement is trying to extract resources out of you without having to sleep with you. Meanwhile, they're getting fucked every night by the guy who couldn't give less of a shit about her. Oh, so it was a lie. Should have seen that one coming. Final six pages. Oh my God, guys, we've come so far. Let's wrap up chapter four, baby. And the entire woman needs book. Let's do it. All right. When she says, I have a boyfriend, what she means to say is, I do have a boyfriend, but I'll fuck you if I like you enough. Now we're just flipping it. Now it's just reverse. Now, now we're getting it from the opposite situation. Before it was our girlfriend fucking every other guy in town. Now we're talking to a new girl who says she's got a boyfriend. She's actually going to fuck me. This depends upon when she says it to you. That's the first clarification he's ever given. This is the first this depends ever, <laughs> which means every other thing in this book so far is just fact. This depends on when she says it to you. If you chat her up for 20 minutes, then go for the phone number and she tells you she has a boyfriend, she definitely likes you and is shit testing you. If she tells you she has a boyfriend three seconds in the conversation, she doesn't find you sexually attractive. Not all shit tests are deployed equally. Sometimes a shit test is just a rejection. That's part of the game. Maybe. It depends. Wait, is that the last page? I didn't give a big showstopper for the last one. The book ends. <laughs> That's the end of the book. <laughs> How are we feeling? <laughs> There's no conclusion. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, womanese. Whoa, there we go. The lost language of the female species. Hey. W slash L's in chat. That was the worst book I've ever read, but also that was funny as shit. That was wild. That book had so many twists and turns. You never knew where the plot was going. The storyline really got me.